Fun Facts presents the 1966 Corvette 427, one of the ultimate classic muscle cars. This is the C2 generation. It was introduced in 1963 and had a run through 1967. I'm excited, hope you're excited. Let's get started now. The Chevrolet Corvette, the C2, is the second generation of the Chevrolet Corvette sports car produced from 1963 through 1967. And it's one of General Motors automobile brands. Corvette deserves an enormous amount of credit because it was the only serious American sports car produced in any significant numbers by a major automaker in the post-World War II period. Today. It's just that recently, since 1953, Corvette produced a sports car and they became very serious about performance in the 1960s. There was a market for such cars and that they could enjoy the local and national competition. A different body design began in 1963 and the so-called C2 platform evolved with the rear configuration somewhat like the 1961 C1 type, the rest of the car was different. A coupe version was also introduced at the same time. The chassis was basically of the latter type and the bodies on every Corvette were in fiberglass. <clears throat> but now much more handsome in the exciting Stingray motif. These popular cars became progressively more powerful from the early 1960s producing up to 360 horsepower until the last year of the Stingray in 1967 where the stock 427 cubic inch engine was producing over 425 horsepower. <clears throat> Some engine upgrades such as the famous L88 and the more recent Z06 produced even greater performance, allegedly delivering more horsepower than advertised by Chevrolet. During the five years of the production of the C2 Stingray, about 22,000 units in all were created, but much fewer with the 427 CI 425 horsepower engine. <clears throat> to some historians, they consider these Corvettes the most desirable in the over 50 years of Corvette production. With the 1966 <clears throat> Corvette arriving after General Motors' recent overwhelming success with the 427 Stingray, there was no question that the newest Corvette model would continue to block engines. This turnabout in events was rather interesting, especially given GM management's earlier decree that no car line smaller than a full-size model would carry an engine larger than 400 cubic inches. Perhaps fortunately for the Corvette, it was Carroll Shelby's two-seat Cobra, which featured its own 427-inch V8 engine that prompted the change of the opinion. Well, if you found yourself this far into the video, we'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch our video. <clears throat> if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It really does help our channel. And if you like our channel, please subscribe. We'll be doing more muscle car videos. We'll be doing supercar videos, hybrid car videos, custom car and hot rod videos, autorama, <clears throat> and a little bit for everyone like to thank you again for taking the time out of your day. We wish you a great day and always take good care.